So I bought my house from my mum, and it's a bit of a fixer-upper. In English, when we say that something is a bit of a fixer-upper, it means that it needs some repairs. You can see that this window here is a little bit rotted, so we are getting a new window put in. The house is in pretty good shape, but I would describe it as a bit of a fixer-upper. So that means that there are a few things here and there that need to be fixed. Interestingly enough, sometimes to be funny, we will describe people in the same way. Maybe you know someone who has started dating uh, a new boyfriend and she might describe her new boyfriend by saying he's a bit of a fixer upper. Um, so that's kind of a joking way to say that he's a really nice guy, but there are things about his personality that could be improved. So he's a bit of a fixer upper. Um, the other phrase we use in English when I describe things like my house is that it needs work. My house needs work. Uh, when you say that something needs work, it's a general term uh, referring to the fact that it, it needs some repairs, it needs some things done to it so that it is back in good shape again. So my house definitely needs work. It needs work. We don't usually use this phrase though to describe people. We don't often say that a person needs work. Sometimes though we'll just say that person needs some help uh, because we think that they could improve their personality. But generally, if you say that something needs work or it needs work, you are describing something like a house or a car.